Yo, what it do? This is your boy Chizzy, and I'm gonna take you behind the beat for Chris Brown's The Breakup. I'm gonna show you how I made the beat and uh, how it came about. So, let's go. I knew pretty much where I wanted to go with this track, so I'll start there. The first thing I did was I started with a kick and a snare. Um, originally, I had in mind Justin Bieber for this, and at the time, he was looking for things with a, a minimalistic approach, so that's what I had in mind as I was making this, like, less is more. So, um, yeah, I have my kick here. It's just a kick that I have with some distortion on it. And then um, I have a kick lay. So this is just like a layer that I had. It's like a kick that gives it some beef on the bottom end. And that's what I decided to use there to kind of beef it up. Um, from there, I added my snare. So I have this main snare here. So that's pretty much what's going on throughout the whole track. But then from there, I also had uh, other snares to kind of layer and complement that. So. So that's uh, an extra snare I have. Um, here's another one. There you go. And then I have this third one that kind of has like a tambourine in the background. So that's what you hear too. And then all four, you have that. And then I have this extra snare that comes in on every other beat to add like a bit of reverb or you know something new to the, to the uh, snare. So here this goes. And so there you go, you have that reverb there. So yeah, there goes my uh, snare. So here we go. Kicking snares and then I added a crash, nothing too fancy. Um, so next, the next thing I did was uh, I hit up my boy Trey, who's an amazing guitarist, and we hopped on the phone and we talked about working on something for Justin. And um, we wanted to go with the minimalistic approach but also still kind of have like a, a cold play ish type of feeling something that Chris Brown would do too so that's with the drums I'm gonna pull those out so that's the guitar you hear playing pretty much throughout the whole thing and then um, what I did was I added uh, a couple elements to it just to kind of brighten it a little bit I added a uh, the Waves API um, and the CLA guitars just to help with that. Uh, nothing too crazy, just added a bit more brightness and a little uh, reverb to it. So from this part, I started building up the track some more. Um, I wanted to give it a bit more energy so it wasn't dragging the whole time, so I added this hi-hat here. And this was a hi-hat that I had chopped and pitched down and then ran it through another effect, and this is the loop that you have. So this is what keeps that movement going. And then from there, I added an 808. So you have this. So you hear that there. So from there, I wanted to add just a few more little small details just to kind of, you know, keep you interested in the track. So what I did was I added this, uh, these two little percussive elements. Um, they're very faint, but it adds to the texture of the track, and that's what I was going for. So you have the guitar, and then I have this here. It almost sounds like a, a dog barking. And then I have this, uh, it's like a pitch down hi-hat. And so that's in the background. So you have this and the, uh, the dog bark. <laughs> and all that stuff was just added simply for a texture and to set the vibe of the song. Um, so after that, you have this. And that's with all the elements in there. So that is really the beef of the track um, until you get to the hook. So what I wanted to do here is I wanted to I wanted to drop down and feel kind of empty. Um, you know, the whole goal was to start slow, build it up, and then bring you back down, build it up a little bit, bring you back down. So you're on this, you know, emotional ride here. So the first thing that it drops into is this for the hook. So I have the same guitar loop, but what I did was I added this kind of reverse sounding guitar. 
and I didn't play necessarily with the 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 notes of the guitar loop. I kind of used it as to as a counter melody to kind of complement what's going on there. And um, I decided to use this guitar sound because it kind of sounded like someone was crying, like an emotional sound. So, and that just really helped to set the tone of this. So um, that's what I went with. And this is from um, Reverb by Output, and that's what I used to um, do that sound. So. Just has this cool reverse sound and that really just helped. Um, so I did that. And then I brought in this uh, brass element just to help it grow a little bit. And it's just following the progression. go and it takes you right back to it um, so for the most part that is it and then towards the end of the song um, I actually end up bringing back those elements from the hook uh, except I brought them back into the pre-hook so you hear everything together so so you got your brass there and then you got my reverse guitar drops back out and essentially that's it overall like I said what I was going for was really just an emotional track that really set a tone kept it minimal um, and it's really about the the guitar the 808s and that hi-hat and snare it's like but the kick hi-hat and snare that really drives it um, and yeah and that's it I'm using Logic X and there we have it that's Chris Brown's The Breakup I want to thank you guys for tuning in subscribing to the YouTube page and sharing the links in the videos. I really do hope you learn a thing or two from here. I want to send a couple shouts out. Shout out to my boy Jack Tremaine Jones for killing these guitars. Shouts out to Amadeus for making this happen. And shouts out to the man Louis Mayo behind the camera. Peace.